Today we're gonna talk about why we have these problems with natural candles that could be stains or just bubbles all around the candle. If you don't know me, I'm Beatrice, I love candles and in this channel I teach you how to do it. So subscribe that we will talk about everything that can go wrong, everything that can go right. And I also create content for you every week about new candles, new designs that you can prepare at home and sell it and make some profit of it. There's one thing we need to have in mind that is, if you are working with 100% natural wax, you will have these issues, okay? You will have bubbles and stains and different things because it's a completely natural wax, okay? So this will happen. This is something that we are sure. And why does this happen? Like in this candle here, you see? It's a perfect candle, but you see here some retraction of the wax meaning that the wax when it was drying it was like re retracting it was getting smaller and that's why we have air between the wax and the the jar here and this also depends on the temperature here right now at home for example is 23 uh, degrees celsius if i had this candle in an environment i don't know like with 30 degrees celsius it would look like differently this the the stains that you have here and the air, the bubbles, it can change depending on the temperature that your candle is. Now let's talk about this one here. So this is not nice, right? It's very ugly. What happened with this one is that I made a candle. There were a lot of bubbles in the walls and I just took the heater and I heated the walls. I just made the wall melt and the middle was not melted, so when it did dry, it did dry like that. That's horrible. I'm going to melt this candle again, because this is too much. With natural wax, we know that this can happen, but it doesn't need to be that much. You can control it. What a lot of people in the market do to solve this issue is to add paraffin to the candle composition. But as you know, Paraffin comes from petroleum and I don't want that for my candles. I don't want to put uh, something that's derived from petroleum on my candles. So I don't use paraffin, but this is the reason why you see a lot of mixes in the market. You see like soy wax with paraffin, you see coconut with coconut wax with paraffin. That's why you see these mixes in the market because people try to add different wax together to try to get the best of each type of wax. After getting the horrible results that you saw here with the candles, I did some tests and I just got to the perfect candles. Look at that. No bubbles, no frosting, nothing. A perfect surface. Look at the top of the candle. Really? This is the best results I ever got with candles. They are just perfect. And how did I do that? Actually, if you don't know, some people, they make massage candles and into these massage candles, they add vegetal oils. Here I'm using coconut wax. I thought, what if I add some coconut oil to the composition? What's going to happen? Is the oil going to help the wax to adapt to the jar? and to remove the bubbles and the frosting, etc. And this is exactly what happened. I tried with different uh, quantities of oil. The best results I got, it was with 15% of coconut oil into my candle composition, okay? So I tested only the coconut oil. And you don't need to worry that your candle will turn into a massage candle because to do massage candles, you need to put a lot of oil in the can candle composition, 50-60% is much, much more. And just to make sure, I also tested the burning time. I compared 100% coconut wax with a candle that had 15% of coconut oil in the composition. And the result that I got is that, yes, the candle that has a bit of coconut oil in the composition, it burns faster, but it's nothing like, wow, that's such a big difference. If I have a candle that has, I don't know, like 50 hours of burning time, 
one that has coconut oil in the composition will have i don't know 48 hours or something like that so yes it's less but it's not much less me i prefer to have perfect candles and two hours less of burning time so it's a choice that you need to make i hope you like it to have more details about how do i get these perfect candles if you have any comments or any tips if you know any other way to get this perfect candles like that please tell me in the comments let's share your experience and do not forget to subscribe to our channel see you in the next video bye bye